Hello and welcome to day 27, almost finished, <laughs> of Inktober. Um, and you know how I extended the design here because I was hoping to get some kind of um, an organic tangle to place next to this geometric one and now uh, finally there is another organic tangle and it's the Tangle Trilina by Annie Oaken, a wonderful CZT that probably all of you know. And Trilina is quite um, a demanding tangle, if I may say so. I mean, it's not, I don't know, it's not difficult. Um, and I have used it before, just not lately. For a while I haven't, I don't know why. It's a tangle that really presents wonderful opportunities for shading. And this is how I will start, kind of like something that re resembles a star shape. And now <clears throat> I will start by just adding aura lines. And I'm first going to add some here, trying to take care about how I go over this line where they are connected. And now that the first one is here, it will be easier because I can start from this one and then draw the whole thing. Maybe another one. These are not all the same size in my case. That's fine. And then here I will have to draw as if though these are hidden behind each other and then yeah quite easy once you get the first done And one more. And then I will also finish the first one. I think I can fit two more. Now I have to take care about... <laughs> it's fine. Okay, but this is not all because I will add some more aura lines or um, I think any Oaken doesn't call it aura lines, she calls it echo lines. Uh, these kind of receding aura shapes. I don't know if that makes sense. I will try to point them in that direction just because I want to fill this space. Normally I would probably do it in a different direction. Then <clears throat> I think it was a good decision because also here I have to add them. And then another one and these are kind of hidden so I don't have too much space or I don't have any space at all. That would be this one I will obviously place right here. So it's like a big <laughs> star that's hiding um, 
behind the tangles that I have already placed here and to assist with the shading I will just add some roundings next to this line where these lines meet I'm doing one side first and then the other so that I repeat this stroke And now shading and highlighting of this one can really be elaborate, but <clears throat> I did one of my favorite tangles, it must be, I don't know, at least two or three years ago, my favorite tiles with Trellina on a gray background. Uh, with some blue shades and I will try to find it and maybe insert a photo of it so that you can see but here I don't intend on over complicating shading and highlighting so I will just start and try to keep it quite simple so that it doesn't take too much time. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. Still not healthy like 100% after I had COVID recently. So this is just to start with, then after I blend it, I will see what I'll do next. Oopsie. You maybe can notice how delicate this paper is, especially on these parts where that are inked in <clears throat> I will add a shade to this mid part and then I might add just a few shades on these sections that are sticking out from the central part if I was doing it as a focal tangle on a tile I would probably position it a bit differently so that these I don't know what to call them um, points of a star all point in the same direction whereas here these two point to the right and the one here points to the left just to use the space more efficiently and then I will of course take the blend uh, take the charcoal pencil and add some highlights you 
it's looking quite cool see this tangle even though it's uh, let's say quite a complex looking organic tangle I guess because it's an organic tangle it just feels more comfortable for me to draw it because yeah, there are really no big mistakes that you can do and that you can't fix and that each line has to go in a particular direction so there's more freedom to just develop it <coughs> And I will use the white jelly roll to add some shiniest highlights here I might have muted black the black line a little bit too much with a shade here and I know that this black white ink is not dry yet but still I basically smudged it a little bit and covered some of it with my graphite pencil Sometimes I use my finger <laughs> as a brush or as a blending stamp. And here it is. I do wish that I had a bit darker shades so I might add a layer and normally I would use other shading supplies that's my usual rent <laughs> I'm longing for my shading supplies that I don't use in this October project and here is the trilina and with the drawing trilina I have finished the day 27 so four more days and like one and a half um, tiles if I want to fit them on these nine tiles to create so I have these six amazing and then three more to create an opus size artwork and I think I might do it so four days yeah I, I'm sure I will do it I might even have a bit extra space so maybe my Muka will come to play <laughs> okay Okay, guys, thank you so much for drawing with me again. And I'll see you tomorrow with day 28 already. Bye.